Can you imagine getting a notification from a local water treatment saying, do not drink this water. There are toxins in there that will not only kill you, but your family, your animals, everything. In 2014, this happened in the city of Toledo. There's a large algae bloom seen from a satellite image from NASA that totally took over Toledo. Lake Erie is their drinking water source. And these harmful algae blooms occur because of over-nutrient loading, leading to eutrophication in um, drinking water sources. So a big issue of this is that a lot of fertilizers contain high levels of nutrients. And in Ohio, there's a great deal of agriculture, especially around Toledo being Lake Erie. So as an environmental engineer, I ask the question, how can we kill two birds with one stone? How can we remove this nutrient, but also reuse it as a fertilizer? Phosphorus, unlike other nutrients, cannot be man-made. You have to mine it from rocks, which takes over thousands of years to uh, regenerate. So how can we reuse this as a, as a source? So my research is looking at four different types of carbonates that can be made into pellets using absorption to remove phosphorus. Now, absorption is a physical process. We increase the pores so that the phosphates can stick to these pores. By increasing the surface area, we have a great deal of removal versus just a really compact surface. So in my research, I tested calcium carbonate, lanthanum carbonate, magnesium carbonate, and strontium carbonate. In my initial results, I saw that calcium and strontium really didn't do anything. So I'm not really going to focus on that in my next steps. But magnesium and and uh, lanthanum carbonate have really great removal curves. So these are what I'm gonna focus on. And if we can increase the surface area and start to remove this, um, the nutrient from the calcium using the, this method, um, we can reuse these as a slow release fertilizer or maybe in any other um, removal capa capacities for phosphate-based materials. So as I continue my research, I'm gonna think about what is the practicality of this? Is lanthanum phosphate really used in industry? Will they accept something that's coming from a wastewater source? Or what about magnesium carbonate? Is that safe enough to just put directly back on the land? I hope to solve this problem and, again, think about sustainability, but also removing this, this nutrient that is really great for our soil, but not so great in water bodies. Thank you.